Hey YouTube, welcome back everyone to my channel. So I got my new nails, check them out. They look super cute, super fly. We're going to be doing some fish tacos and I'm just going to record in and out of the little videos. I was going to do a live, but I don't know if that's a good idea. We got a lot of chaos. We got the grandbaby over. Let me show you guys my grandbaby. Hi Papa. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? He's just chilling. We're about to make some fish tacos so we have my daughter over Thursday, Thursday and, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. and yeah. they just got in so we're gonna be making Good. some fish tacos i'm gonna prepare the relish right now so i'm gonna get started on it so you guys can actually see what i'm gonna put in it okay so we're gonna make some relish and we're gonna start with a tomato we have some purple cabbage. We're gonna go ahead and do a white onion. And you don't have to put all of it. We'll go ahead and do measurements. And we have some cilantro. So I'm gonna start chopping this up. Okay, so right here we got our tomato chopped up. Okay, so right here we're going to do a second tomato. I feel like that's very little tomato, so we're going to do another one. And yeah, this is my new set. I'm um, loving it. Cute. I'm going to use half an onion for this. Okay, so right here we're going to chop up some cilantro. This is about a cup. We like a lot of cilantro, so that's what we're going to put in there. Okay, so let's chop up our... Can we actually see from here? Yeah, we can. No, put the, the low one, Mom. I'm going to call you mamas. Okay, guys, so now we've got... I'm going to go ahead and chop up my cabbage. And I'm gonna do about, I'm gonna do half of the cabbage for for this bowl that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so we're gonna put about a cup of sour cream and I'm gonna put like half a cup of some mayo. You want to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder, which is this one, just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. You want to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper. If you want to be real technical on the ingredients, it's only about like half a teaspoon. Let's put a little bit of onion powder. About half a teaspoon. A little bit of more salt. About half a teaspoon. If you want to add more, you could. We're going to go ahead and mix this up. So we're going to be making some fish tacos. I'm going to add the cabbage to this right now in a minute I just want to kind of mix this up a little we have two lemons so we're gonna put the lemon juice in there as well so you want to use chipotle salsa I'm gonna put half of the can in this so let's add our cabbage to this it makes it easier for you to kind of mix around So give that a nice mixture and there's our mixture we're gonna get started with frying up 
our fish. I'm going to let you guys know what it has. I'm going to ask my husband to tell you guys exactly what he put on the batter. Okay, so we do have a little Mexican rice. And that obviously takes 20 minutes. So we already chopped up our veggies. We have the relish going on. We've got the oil. And um, I'm going to ask my husband what he put in the beer batter, which is right here. I'm trying not to move the camera too much because I'm gonna upload the video like this. Uh, as you guys know, we're super busy and we don't have time to be editing too much. We've got the little grandbaby. Let's get the hubby with the baby. Look, he's got the little guy right here. Where's the little guy? Where's the little guy? Look at that. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the beer batter and I'm gonna ask my husband so you guys can get that recipe. It's bomb. I believe he used beer, so. Hey YouTube, so I had to squeeze in this piece because I was cut off. We've got our delicious <clears throat> crunchy batter mm. this has been sitting out and listen to this it's been sitting out for a while I love this batter my husband came up with it's delicious so I'm squeezing in this piece some reason the phone didn't record it so for the beer batter he used two cups of beer two cups of flour one cup of starch half cup of baking powder mix that up add some salt like a tablespoon or half a tablespoon have a teaspoon of pepper half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon, well, I wouldn't say half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I would say half of half. Even of onion powder, half of half. If you wish to put more seasonings in there, then you want to do that. And you leave that in the fridge for about 20 minutes. If you leave it longer, obviously it's the best thing you can do because it's going to be really well seasoned. And then one of the things you want to do is fill up the, um, the fish with flour and seasoning as well. So you want to season, either you want to use salt or you want to use some pepper, season the fish and then cover it with some flour. And then you can put it in the fridge and when it's ready, you do all your mixture and fry it up. So this is a piece that was missing in here from the recipe and I put it in here. These fish tacos are so delicious you guys I'm not even lying when I tell you they're delicious mm. you use white fish for this recipe you can use tilapia whatever you want mm. I love swipe fish it's nice and juicy crunchy I love it so let's get back to the recipe. These look so pretty. Okay, YouTube, so we are done with our fish tacos. They came out looking so delicious, this batter. I hope you guys give it a try. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all my new subscribers, don't forget to hit that little bell notification. They will notify you guys of more videos that are to come. I hope you guys like my nail design. The blossom tree, I think it's super cute. And I will see you guys here on our next video. So enjoy the recipe. Hi, baby. <laughs>